In this video guide, we're going to see how to create a report that uses MongoDB as a data source. And inside Pentaho Data Integrations Graphical Editor, I'm going to create a new transformation. And the first thing I'm going to do is to drag in a MongoDB input step. Double click to edit that. I have to provide my database and collection using uh, one of our sample data sets. And I have a query here that will bring back all of the landing pages within our data set ordered in uh, descending order by the count field. I can preview that data and we'll see that this indeed is the data that we want in my report. Next thing I need is a JSON input step so that I can take the JSON documents returned by MongoDB and break those out into fields. Drag in a JSON input step and double click to edit the properties. I'm going to specify that our documents are defined in a field and that field is the only field coming from our previous step. And then next I want to specify what I'm pulling out of the document. So we have a field called URL which is a string. We have one called next URL which is also a string. And we have one called count. That is a number. Okay, at this point we can preview the data to see if this is what we want. And as we scroll over, we see that we've got the URL, the next URL, and the count uh, pulled out of the JSON documents. So at this point we can save our transformation and then use this transformation as the data source for a report. I'm going to call this transformation top landing pages. Okay, now we can move over to our report designer. I'm in Pentaho's report designer. I'm going to use the report wizard. I'm going to select a template. And the first thing I need to do is to create a data source. And I'm going to select Pentaho data integration as the type. So I'm going to create data source called landing pages. I'm going to browse and select our top landing pages transformation we just created. And here we can see the steps within that transformation. And we can preview the JSON input step, which was the last one. And here we can see the documents and then the fields that we created in that transformation. I can now say OK. Click on the landing pages data source to select it and move on to the next step in the wizard. Here we get to lay out our report. I'm going to choose to put next URL and count as my columns on my report and uh, that's all I need. I'm going to go on to formatting next. So next URL I'm going to call landing page count. I'm going to leave the name the same but I'm going to change the formatting and I'm going to specify that we want a sum for, um, for all the counts. Okay, so I can click on finish. And now I have my report design. First thing I'm going to do is to change the title. I'm going to call this top landing pages. We'll give it a subtitle. Oops. We'll give it a subtitle of in descending order. Go to the second subtitle. Okay, we can now preview our report. We can see that we have the, the data that we're expecting. We've got our landing pages in descending order by the count. And we can go and look all the way through the report. When we get to the last page, we'll see that we have a count at the bottom. We have got our sum of all of the all of the counts. Now I can save my report and so that I can run this at any point that I want. Um, or I can very quickly just run my report to say PDF. And now I have a PDF output of the report. That was a quick video guide on how to create a report that uses MongoDB as a data source using Pentaho Data Integration and Pentaho Report Designer.